Okay, so the voltage at point C is going to be, I'm just simply going to add these guys like scalars, right? The voltage due to one point charge is just KQ over R, and due to two point charges, it's just KQ. Just add the other KQ over R. I mean, literally add them. Now, notice that this guy's negative. Okay, and this guy's positive, so we've got to do that correctly. So the voltage at C is 8.99. Nine times, and then I'm going to do this guy first due to Q1, right? So negative 4.1 e minus 6 over, and then this distance here is uh, the square root of 0.85 squared plus 0.38 squared. Okay, and then uh, we're going to do the voltage due to this guy, right? So this is the voltage due to Q1. And then this guy will be the voltage due to Q2. I do the same thing. Okay. 8.99 E9. And then uh, let's see, this is positive 1.1. Right? Divided by, and then the distance is simply 0.38. Okay. Okay, so, so 8.999 times, I'm going to add this in here, let's go, boo, boo, boo. negative 4.1 times 10 to the minus 6th, right, divided by, uh, and then i got to do the square root, whoops, the square root of left parenthesis 0.85 squared plus 0.38 squared, right, right parenthesis, plus, and I'm over here, 8.999 times 1.1 e minus 6 divided by 0.38. All right, are we ready for this? Ta-da, I get negative 13,000. 563.9 volts, which with two sig figs, apparently we'd have to round to that. Yay. Okay, the uh, values that I got were this. V1 was that, that was that one. And that's that. Yay.